beautiful, intelligent, confident, independent, talented, talented, well equipped. It don't matter what you be. The best thing that I can be is me. I know who I am. Who I am. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Shani Echo, and I'm back with another video. So today we are doing another take on the knotless braids, but this time they are goddess and they are triangles. So if that's something you would like to see. Make sure you continue watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below what you would like to see next. Oh, and make sure you follow my model, do it Asia, period. Um, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so these are the things you're going to need. I have three packs of Expressions braiding hair. I have some human hair deep wave. The brand is Ultra Plus, but feel free to use whatever brand you like. This is just the one I chose, a comb, some clips. And I have some mousse here by Afoji. And a braiding rack because it just saves so much time. I'm just going to go in, pre-pull out the pieces I need, and fill up the rack. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm going in, and I'm just going to show you guys that you can do this technique on shorter hair because the back of her hair is short. I'm just going and parting in triangles. And then, being that this is a beginner friendly video, I always like to go ahead and part throughout her whole head first so I have an idea of exactly how many braids, how many rows, etc. That way I don't get to the top and stuff becomes uneven. So I like to pre part out the um, braids. And just to give you an idea, two thumbs width is about the size for these specific um, triangle braids. The top portion is going to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is the braiding pattern. Three big rows, two middle rows, and then six in the front. And then you have that nape area. Okay, so how you do this is you're going to split your section into threes. You're going to braid three times. So one, two, and then on that third one, you're going to add a piece of hair. The fourth time, I'm going underhand, adding another piece of hair. And then the fifth time, same thing. So you're doing that until all three of those sections have an even piece of hair. I'm using three pieces for these braids. They're all the same size. Um, and because I'm using the Expressions braid in here and it's not pre-stretched, there's no reason for me to go in and add hair after her hair ends. Now at the top, I do this a little bit different, but for the short hair, I just use three pieces. They're all even. As you can see, there's no tension back there, so I'm not pulling her hair. It's tight enough to be snug, but not too tight to where it's um, tension and it's hurting her. But yeah, that's how you do that for short hair. It's that simple. So in order to get the triangles, you're just making sure that you part in a zigzag manner. Um, I actually realized that having the triangles means that there's more braids in a row. So keep that in mind. And I'm just going to complete this pattern all the way through so we get to that top middle portion. So I'm just going to let you guys watch. Boom! Magic! <laughs> Look how neat that is, guys. Very, very neat, symmetric. And that's what happens when you pre-part it out. You don't have to worry about it. So this middle section... 
What I did was part it into threes, making the middle one big square, and then making sure that the two sides turn out to be triangles. And again, I'm showing you my technique. I'm braiding one, two, three, then I'm adding piece, adding another piece, and I'm adding the pieces underhand. Now, her hair is thick at this portion, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull from different pieces of the braid until it's even. I'm just gonna braid down past her hair, and then that's when I'll add a third piece. And that's the difference in how I do it in the back with the shorter hair versus at the top where her hair is at a consistently long length. And it's seamless. Make sure you're adding the hair to where it matches the density of your client's natural hair. If you're not doing that, it's actually going to steam like there's still knots at the top because then you're adding more hair than the density of your client. It's going to be big. It's going to be skinny at the root and then big. So I'm all finished up with the parting. Now I'm going back to show you guys how the front came out. Um, she can pretty much, you know, flip it any way which she wants. All the triangles are symmetric and then the next step is to go ahead and braid them and trim them. So I wanted it to be mid back. These are goddess braids. So you don't have to pre-stretch the hair if you're doing a length shorter than what it is when you um, are not pre-stretching it. Hope I said that right. Going in with the scissors and razor ending it. So it's the same effect as a pre-stretch, but because you, it's shorter, instead of pre-stretching before you braid, just go ahead and braid down to where you want it to stop and then go back in and cut. Bam! So this is the length that I want for the braids. And we're gonna braid down and add on the human hair ends. So I cut the straight part of the human hair ends off I split it in half, kind of stagger it, and then um, I braid down till I have about an inch or so left of the hair, and then I add the human hair, and then I braid the human hair until I have reached a point where I'm past the braiding hair. I only used one pack of human hair, that's all you need unless you just want it to be more hair. I'm going in with some nail glue and I'm gonna dab a little bit of that onto the braid and then I use the clip to dry that nail glue. I don't like it to get on my hand, so I use a clip. And I just did that throughout the whole hair. Now with this human hair, it's human hair, you can dip it, it's not gonna affect the pattern. I was actually hoping it did damage it a little bit because she doesn't want it to be too curly at the ends. For me, I didn't mind. I originally bought this hair to do these braids on myself and I just realized I was going to take a minute so I just decided to go ahead and do it on her. She is my friend so um, yeah, she didn't want it to be too curly or too big so I was actually hoping the water made the curl pattern more sleek, not as curly and it did. Not too much, but it did. So after you dip it, you're going in with the mousse. Rubbing that in. Definitely want to get those ends as well. And for you all who have seen my last video, if you didn't, it'll be right up as a pop-up card. But I didn't use baby oil for the ends because it's human hair. It's already silky. This is the finished look, guys. Look how neat that is. Everything is symmetric. No tension, it's not hurting her for me to pull the braids to the side. And then it's ready to be versatile. This is just it in different styles, half up, half down. Uh, 
a bun half up half down you can also put it in a full bun if you want to but the hair is heavy at this moment because the braids are still wet so we didn't do that for you but this is the ponytail you can see through those parts all right guys so that was the final look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section hit the description box if you would like to book me i am in atlanta i have a lot of comments on my last video about where i am i am located in atlanta my pricing and availability will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you would like to see next subscribe and turn on your post notifications okay also, if you enjoyed that music you heard, it's me, it's your girl, I sang, so you know, go check it out. It's free here on YouTube, Shiny Echo Recycled. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Speedo, I've been knowing the game like it's a cheat code, so I give you time, but you can't have the G code, cause that is just me though. Huh? Five, five with brown eyes, they hematize, looking like Jada and 99, summertime, fine. I can give you a piece of time if you want it, like I let you live for the moment. Malone, I don't bet.